Hello everybody, Digfig here and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off trying to find the key to eliminate Hades and we are up here in oh, Gaia's. Glad that's over. Yeah, it's nice to be back in tunnels and not jumping around and all that crazy shenanigans out there. Not seeing anything of interest in here. Totally 100% expected to take far more damage than that. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Ah, well that's sneaky little sneaks. It made me think it's down, but it's actually up. Where's the climber points? There we go. Just kind of scuttle butt my way up here. That's just totally not the way that saying's meant to be used. I don't even know how scuttle butt's meant to be used. I don't even know why that popped in my head. That's I'm I'm literally losing my mind, everyone. Um, this way would be a dead end of dead ends. She runs and jumps and tugs on everything in existence. That is one heck of a fall. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Yeah, it was a big ass explosion. That is for sure. I'm curious about their personal logs of how they lived after, like, because this is the the safe haven. Accord. I just woke up. It's. I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of. Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank, open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. But the last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, and lottery winners, and life cults, all of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. None of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp before the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. I'm sure she'll have plenty of friends that she'll make for herself, which is kind of sad. I'm like, yeah, I mean, you guys are alone and it does kind of shed light on what it's like to be a short-term civilization and forces us to realize that we are just a blip in the universe as of right now and unless humanity gets their shit together and stops fighting each other and all this petty bullshit and uh, works on making our civilization more resilient to catastrophic events were kind of screwed to be honest like uh one asteroid one meteorite one rogue planet one anything wipe out all life on earth two other things like disease which is happening now and a bunch of other things like just gg a multi-planet is great helps us survive a lot of those catastrophic things um but multi-solar system is really the step we need to be getting at and then then honestly multi-galactic we have to reach those points or the human race could fade into existence and no one would ever know we any of us ever existed sad truths that's what she was facing in that audio recording and they have their last ditch effort for someone to remember them we sent out Voyager spacecraft and those things too. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. 
There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saiyadi Zygos I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. That All the sucks. time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given the chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. <laughs> yeah, this bitter old man does happen. Now well, even I've gotten a little bit more bitter at the old age. Ignorance and thinking humanity can do better. I think we're woken up to the fact that we all screwed. Unfortunate. Wish we could change it. Wish people would get all their craps together, but... Guys, journals. Dr. Sobek. Um, let's see anything that way. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Yeah, it's kind of sad that they're all broken and destroyed. Wonder what caused that, or well, I mean, no, nah, maybe a thermonuclear like explosion happening down here, but also possibly some sabotage. What is this? Gaia. It's kind of creepy that her face is posted on it. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out what it is. This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. It's her Elizabeth, armor. No. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm, I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, Happy trails, Liz. And uh, 
see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. Hell? That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Bam. Lots of logs around. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express... <laughs> All your children, after all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much, with an intensity that was dazzling, bruising, and in the end, it killed you, or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobek is only one. Uh, am I the Lightkeeper? Interesting little mention there. Look, Liz, you are a pretty stand up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. I hope but so this too. Monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. She did do a hell of a lot for humanity. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Hero and Marner. That is true. She did kind of pull that one off. No regard for everyone else. Got some more logs in here before we talk to him. Don't know why it canceled my focus, but Hello Margo. How are you holding up? Um <coughs> Tried to read it. Failed. I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone. We've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates. Constant updates. Hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? Oh, design a signal to release all the AI, set them free, screw everything up from the inside. Sabotage! That's why you should arguably tie up all your loose ends and kill everyone that knows how to undo your saver of the universe. However fucked up that is, it's kind of safeguard humanity. But I could be a little pessimistic there. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. Yeah. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Uh, not in 
the way you mean. You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others, for everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. Loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. She has the power armor on too. Maybe she cry out herself. Like what? What are you hoping for? Her to be alive? That was in years later. I mean, she might be. Maybe it was her plan all along. Trick them into going out there, have a backup bunker, and keep herself alive forever. I'm um, not missing anything else here, right? Aha. What are we going to plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. Mmm, that seems like the beginning of the breaking and sabotage. Someone disagreed with the info. Wanted a different humanity, too much time to think. Should have isolated them from the system. Not have locked them in the system. Ugh. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Oh, I did not think I was going to make that. What was that? I'm sure everything's fine. She's going to hold together for me. Are they going to do that dramatic breakaway thing in a cutscene, though? I haven't seen that yet. That's like the little pieces of logs that are I've, still alive. I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. Erasure. Addition. By subtraction. I can make it better, Liz. With a single stroke, make it all go away. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. Yeah? This is going the direction of him erasing all the human knowledge? Or corrupting it and making it so we don't get learned and then setting all the AI free? Exactly what I'm talking about. Should have tied up your loose ends, or at least made it an independent system, or isolated system. Void of any future in interference by the humans. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. The word is was. Seems like betrayal all over it. Traitor in their midst. Someone wanted to undo the project. Too much time to think. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see what this is about 
is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone, all of it, every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice, it's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard! Millennia of culture! I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. said clean up the freaking loose ends Shh. everything humanity sacrificed the billions of lives this dipshit screws it all up all of it every bit of it one guy it's like I know it's a video game and it's fine, but like there's some lessons to be had here of probabilities and odds and everything that could happen. We're just killed all the alphas or locked the alphas not in a facility where they had access to Gaia or any of this information. Would have been fine. Isolated system. He's the reason Apollo doesn't exist. But either way, everyone, we are out of time for this episode. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification. I will see all of you in the next episode. Dig fig out! Oh, I hate characters like him. And it's that whole... Such insanely hard work. And cost and lives. To build something. And so easily destroyed. So very easily. All of it. And the ignorance to think that humans wouldn't repeat the same mistakes with the religion, the worshipping of the god, these ancient machines. Oh, and the amount of torture and murder and kidnapping, suicide. I just, there's so much horror in the world because this fucker. Bye, guys.